Gargoyles Remaster. V, I, I brought the original out, V. The Sega Genesis original. Yes, indeed, V. Yes, indeed, the Sega Genesis original. And it is the remaster. For those of y'all who don't know the silly story, I actually got a PlayStation 1 before I got a Sega Genesis. The only reason I got a Sega Genesis is for this game. Because I love the show Gargoyles. I think it is the coolest show ever. As a kid, even now. And I really, really wanted to. I was like, there's a game for this? I would like to play this, please. So my parents let me get a Sega Genesis and we tracked down a copy of this game. It was on eBay. I think one of the very first eBay purchases my family and I made. Got the game, got the system, put the game in the system. All Goliath would do was run backwards. That's all he did, Chad. The game was busted from the very beginning when we got it. Was it the system? No, because we got a couple of other games like Vector Man and Sonic. Works no problem. Copy of the game was busted, Chad. And there, part of my childhood died. But, fast forward to many years later, I got an emulator and was able to play the game. So I was able to actually come up and, and play the game and beat it, uh, which was a lot of fun. And then they released the remaster of it. And what's really cool about this, the remastered game is you can actually switch between the graphics of the retro style and the new style. And I'm super duper excited to try this out. Now, y'all, again, it's been a long time since I played this game. But I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I just, I brought this out because I was like, you know what? It's still kind of cool that we got this, like, the original, like, cartridge as well is still in here. And I think there's even, like, the booklet in here, too. I have no idea if this will do, even do anything if we were to put it in a Sega Genesis. But yeah, it even has the official Sega quality seal of approval. I was like, you know what? The heck with it. I think it's cool. Hi, Clay! Before we continue though, y'all, before we start the game, we're going to look at a different game. This game is called Epic Hero Game. This game is probably going to be miles better than Gargoyles, unfortunately, for better or for worse. Just because Epic Hero Game, made by our friend Clay Mandev, is, uh, is going to be a franchise starter. It's actually, I've, I've heard there's going to be a movie deal associated with Epic Hero Game. I think Buena Vista is going to buy the rights to Epic Hero Game. <laughs> Y'all can please wish list the game Epic Hero Game right there. On the Steam store. Clay has been working ever so diligently. It's going to be a beautiful game, y'all. The soundtrack is lovely, too. The epic Balint movie this is actually oh no 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 Clay that that was that was the wrong movie sir. Side Peter. Peter, they're gonna put Clay in a movie. So this is Clay's game. You can see he can kill a dinosaur or a person. You can discombobulate them to make them whatever you want. It's a whole thing, Peter. Including that sword. That giant sword, Peter! It's gonna be a beautiful game, Peter. It's gonna be the most beautiful game, Peter. Guys, please go wishlist the game Epic Hero Game and help our friend Clement Dev! Hopefully not to... No. Clay, this week has been insane. I swear, I've had days, like, coming from 9 in the morning to, like, last night's last meeting ended at, like, 6 or 6.15. And I was just going and going. And, and Clay, it's like, oh, it's going to be any better next week? No. No. In fact, it's not. I don't know when it's going to get easier, but it's too much, Clay! But today, Clay Mandev, like I said, we're going to play Gargoyles. 
And then we're part of a raid train from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Eastern. So that's about three and a half hours. We're going to do some microscopy. We're going to do some microscopy with that, um, which I think will be fun. And then I think I think that's how we'll roll. I think it'll be Gucci to do that, possibly. Uh, so we'll probably, yeah, raid out at 6.30 to the next person on the raid train, as it were. And there have been a lot of cool people on that raid train so far today. So right now it's uh, AG Crafts is on the raid train. Um, it started with Danielle in the morning. Uh, let's get her a shout out. She's a musician extraordinaire. There she is. Really, really, like, hauntingly beautiful music. Um, does music videos, recordings live on the stream. Apparently, Clay, I've heard, she was telling a story today that the only video that she cannot monetize on YouTube is when her dad told a snowman joke. And I was like, well, that is hilarious. Her dad can't, like came on stream and told an inappropriate snowman joke and they're like you can't monetize this nah. hi sparky bugwash sparky are you ready to kick off gargoyle sparky bugwash sparky we just watched the uh, video for epic hero game sparky and it's beautiful sparky bugwash it's amazing sparky bugwash in fact hello harissa hello hello uh music i've been practicing fades to black so nice clay Clay, you and McDoodle need a crossover stream where she plays on sax and you play on guitar. Oh. Nine ninety four A.D. Viking sorcerers have created an artifact of incredible evil, the Eye of Odin. Not true per lore. Mad with power, Viking invaders overran Castle Wyvern. Level of weight one, evil awakens. I had no idea that science court was a thing. Is this Rise of Piracy? No. But check that, Smikes. Yes, you can switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. Alright, I'm just getting my bearings with controls. There we go. All right, cool. Disney ABC about science stuff? Oh, they make them silly. All right, but do you learn stuff? I guess that's the question, right, Peter? Chapter named Joe Schmo. That could be good, though. Y'all, I know it's silly, but yo, you wanted this. The community raised the channel points for this. Perhaps because they also knew how much I enjoyed this. Because science stuff, how a factory worker. Oh, that's interesting. So, Clay, I like that they have this shift back. Between the graphics, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, they actually don't. So, Smikes, they. This whole plot line of this game is totally wrong. Um, they say, for example, like the starting beginning stream was like, oh, the Eye of Odin was made by Vikings, blah, 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 blah. Not at all. So that's not how the it was in the series. The Eye of Odin is the actual eye of uh, Odin's son. It's one of the bonus, uh, like one of the extra worlds that you learn about. And Macbeth should be here too, and there should be other gargoyles beyond Goliath. But, uh, not here, no. no! The 
new graphics too, like they really bring me back, especially like during the, between the old one. I think it's super cool. Also, we can't see my health bar, but it's down there behind me. That might prove problematic later. Or maybe not at all. Maybe we'll be able to defeat this no problem. some secrets in some of these areas, but it's been long enough that, like, I don't know where the secrets are. But I'm still, I'm still stupid excited. Like, this should be fun. As for an actual graceful run, Peter, no, this will not be graceful. There is gonna, Peter, there's, there's stuff in this game that if they, if they kept it, the way it was makes absolutely no sense. Like, you start playing, you're like, why on earth is this like this? Like this thing, Peter. This thing. Okay, see, Peter, there was that really stupid trick of standing up on the, the thing that came down. If you don't step on that, if you try to jump through the gate in a different way, it won't let you. Remember, it took me hours to figure that out the first time. Like, just little silly things. Like, right, I'm just gonna do this. And then, Clay, you remember the animations were like this. Back in the old day. The new, the new type, though, they, like, really did the animations well. It's like, you go around. So yeah, see Peter, it's like, if you don't, and then see, also, it, like, hits you. So if you touch that base in any kind of a weird way, then you lose health, and it's just made to not have you work well. He does have quite a stride, Spikes. And also, like, <laughs> the original view, you don't actually see the Viking. Except in the expanded, you're like, oh, there it is. Just because we had died like two, but with a good ending. I, Sparky. Never played it. It still definitely f plays like the, an old game, in that it doesn't make much sense as the why. Big Gory never really been put off by a bit of blood and guts. That's okay, Sparky. For me, it's more the scary, the scariness of it. Isn't it supposed to be like zombies? I say as one of my favorite games of the year was the new Resident Evil. I, that, I love the original RE4, and so the remake I was all about. DLCs and everything. Runes, yes. Play, there are people who are streamers here on Twitch who all they do is RuneScape. We actually, Clay, had a fr have a friend who, who was originally named the local penguin. And he renamed himself to Roots RS Penguin for Roots Game. And then our friend Annabella, I think that's all she played as well. So Roots got a different Twitch account. But then we started chasing the dream, Clay. I 
I see how it is, Clayman Death. Yeah, so Smikes, this game ignores the presence of the other Pokemon. Like, they could have... I hope, Smikes, that there will be some kind of... New Gargoyles Renaissance, as it were. Um, maybe like an updated game. Which is not impossible. They've released a new... Um, a bunch of new game, like board games for Gargoyles. Like, maybe they'll have that possibility. Yeah, Sparky, that'll be a lot of fun. Well, I mean, I hope so. Sparky, I'm looking forward to trapping. Um, there's the butler that you can put in the freezer. Do you remember Sparky from the first Tomb Raider? I'm looking forward to that problem. Hi, Andrew! Yes, yeah, from the mansion. Andrew, Risto was saying bad things today on his stream. Luckily, I got the video evidence for it, but... I mean, Andrew, he told me that he needed some generosity today. He got panties in the mail. What was I supposed to do? Hi, Luminology. Thank you for hitting that watch streak. Was Winston? I can't even remember. Luminology, we're playing uh, Gargoyles today. Community Redemption is a playthrough. It's a remaster. Here's the old graphics. That's why we're in the retro category. I don't know. I was like, why don't we just buy retro? We're also part of a raid train today. That'll be at 6 p.m. to 6.30. So a little bit before, we're going to switch gears and do some microscopy. But I was like, you know what? For a Saturday silly stream before, let's start off with some gargoyle. See, see where we take. I doubt I'll be able to re-beat it in just one sitting. Oh shoot. But, you know, we can try. And then the challenge is going to be to remember where all the random uh, hidden things are. We haven't died yet, though, this is not like that's good. The area after this, I remember, is like super frustrating. Because there's this one place that you have to keep jumping and doing this like weird ridge jump. Thick. And it was a disaster when playing originally. I imagine it will not be much better this time. Because they've been pretty faithful to the remake. Guys, okay, speaking of, uh, Andrew was mentioning about Control Chaos. Go check out our, our friend Ristarok88. Who's having a beautiful day today of chaos and love and silly pants. Watching some old clips now, doing the Twitch recap, and I think we'll be playing some games later on as well. Like a potential silly game. Yes, and he's got the uwu too. Sparky. Clay, have you seen the calendar uh -oh. command? <laughs> <laughs> Calendar command. No, 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 here. Oh, hold on, Clay. Clay, I give you a free one. 
Fine, fine. Does this look hairless? Because <laughs> it's for the if it's for the shirtless calendar, he's clean shaven, Clay. I don't know what to tell you. Thank you, Sparky. Sparky, could you please tell him that? Next time we see him. Like a hair... Yes, thank you. Please let him know. Because he questions these things. Yeah, these are the... Touch the flame and then you start falling down and you just hit the flame a couple of more times. And if you climb too high, touch the flame there. Too. There's a rewind button in the game. Which I'm okay. I'm okay with being cheap and using the rewind button. Hi, KK Goida Goinen. KK, it was the community redemption. Let's see. But now KK got it going in. I'm having oh there we go. I'm just having tried to remember KK how exactly to go about the game. It's been a long time. I also remember there. Oh shoot! There is a rewind function for this remaster. Kind of neat. KK, how you doing today? Are you doing Knights of the Old Republic on the Switch? Yeah, it feels really clunky, doesn't it? Great Risto sued my grumpy mice, and there was no drama. We had three quick ones. I don't know what that means, KK. Great Risto. Risto is a friend of the channel. Did he sing to someone? Hi, Woosa. I'll be busy. I'm just having fun. Woosa in the chat saying hi to everyone. Woosa! Woosa, where it gets wild. Kugan! Welcome to Hacking. Raiders! From science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here buffling. You be checking what we got. Now the tribe's arrived. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giants. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Raiders! My god, I squeaked there. Hugan, that was your stream. Tell me, tell me all the things. I want to know the details. Hugan, how was? The Dark Knight DLC. Was it scary? Was it amazing? 
Was it terrifying? Was it all the positive things and more? If you can tell me, tell me, tell me all the details. Raiders, welcome in. My name is Valens. One third of Science Streams and two thirds are my lovely wife, Lita, and our daughter, Baby Alona. We're research scientists and we do interactive science streams here on Twitch most days of the week with microscopy art, sci fi science, science news of the week, deep dives in scientific topics, games, 3D printing, IRL streams, and more. Raiders, welcome the heck in. No lab mice for KK. Got it going in. Uh, basically, to give shots and check on the mice today, and it had no headphones, so it just plays the rest of the stream out of my phone speaker, and they like him. Will that change the experimental result? Hugan, how was your stream? Guys, go follow our friend Hugan. Hugan is a naughty boy. Does crazy time streams in the best of ways, the silly willy things. He also has a redeemed where he does science facts, and he does uh, deep voices like Batman. And more. Guys, go check out our friend, the lovely, amazing Hugin. Um, Hugin, we are today, Raiders, playing Gargoyles for the first part of the stream. The remaster of the 1994 classic Gargoyles. You don't know, KK. It may very well be able to make you feel better, make you feel loved, make you feel all the things that we. He says always he's never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to let you around, and desert you. To say goodbye, all those things. I don't, I don't know the beats of that song, but that's apparently what they do. So yeah, that's what we're doing here, Raiders. Welcome in. Music is live, Wooza! How's that, Wooza? We are, uh, later on, we're participating in the... Dinosaur Stream Fest Raid Train by Daniela Ward. Viper! Viper Dogfish, thank you for the two tier one gift subs. To Plain Toast No Jam and Err Loco. Thank you, Viper Dogfish. How you doing today? Um, so later on, Wusa, around 5.45 p.m. Eastern, we'll switch over... Um, to microscopy. If you look under the microscope at some ancient amber and more. Um, and then Sparky just wants this. <laughs> I don't know. Sparky wanted that. Sparky wanted that ooh right there. I don't know why. I'm doing alright, Viper. I am tired. I went to bed stupid late. And then I woke up stupid early because the little one was up. And so I'm, I'm on the tired side of things, but I'm, you know, it's been an alright day so far. My, my hope is, thank you, Clay, that this evening, um, just have like a nice meal and just kick back and relax on the sofa. We'll see if we get to do that. I know, right, Max is very emotional. Like, he cuts you right in the feels. So... It is the old gargoyles. We can switch between the new graphics and the old graphics. Four hours of sleep? That's not much sleep, Sparky. In fact, one would argue that's not a lot of sleep at all. Hi, silly hat man! Silly! So Viper, this well, oh my God. Viper, this is a remaster of the 1994 Sega Genesis game Gargoyle. Just gonna wait for that to go through. Hi, Ag. Ag, we get to see you later today. Well, I actually already saw you today. This was the raid train earlier. Uh, guys, we're actually gonna Ag Craft. She's also part of the Dino Stream Fest. Her slot was I believe at 2 to 2.30, recent time slot. She was making the beautiful crafts. Part of that raid train we're conducting today. Oh yeah, w Wusa, Wusa, look at what we made, Wusa. Wusa, it's a redemption, Wusa. Usa, I love gargoyles. AG, we had a community redemption um, to play the video game Gargoyles. So here is the original 1994 Sega Genesis game. 
I even have the, uh, the cartridge is still in there. They released a remaster for it for Nintendo Switch. And so we're playing that. Um, and then when the ra when it's raid train time, we're going to switch gears and do some microscopy. Look at tiny worlds under a microscope and get folks excited about some science. But I was like, you know what? It's a nice chill Saturday. Why don't we just play some gargoyles? It is. You know the, the worst part of it, Sparky? I got a Sega Genesis for the sole purpose of playing that game. Sparky, the game did not work. Oh, Max is because we're part of a raid train today by Daniel Allard. Yes, Wusa, we did that live on the stream. We, uh, Wusa, I actually have a scene with a bunch more of the gargoyles that we made. Can we, oh, no. I don't remember how to do some of these. Well, I mean, so I ended up playing at Sparky on an emulator many years later. But yeah, we got the, the Nintendo Switch, or the, the Sega Genesis. And... No, no you, Usa. No you. So I played it on an emulator years later, but at the time we got the Sega Genesis and we got a couple of other games after the Gargoyles didn't work to be like, alright, is it Gargoyles that doesn't work or is it the G Genesis? And the other games work no problem. So we had a busted version of the Gargoyles game. And as it was, we could only find the game on eBay. I think it was my family's first eBay purchase. Uh, yeah. Ham made art. Just subscribed. Ham made art. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you very much, Ham made art. Guys, that fulfilled a sub goal for the week. Which means we get to do a raffle. Would y'all like to be part of a raffle? Thank you, Ham. We do have a raffle for whenever we hit our weekly sub goal. And it is for, this is when it's unlocked, the Gucci Kevin. There's a sticker or a magnet option. Let me show y'all. So you either can win a holographic sticker of the Gucci Kevin or the Magnet. And uh, it's the only way to win it is to unlock. It's to unlock that uh, weekly, by the weekly sub goal. So guys, exclamation point raffle to win a possible Gucci Kevin sticker or Magnet. You choose what you'd like. If you want the Magnet or the sticker, you let me know. Uh, just exclamation point raffle. Woosa. Wusa is being so naughty today, folks. Wusa is being so so naughty. The making making Nightbot shout back at Wusa chat. Poor Nightbot. <laughs> Risto, Risto, are you still live? He is still live. Risto, you can uh, enter the raffle if you would like, Risto. If you would want good Risto, sir. He is, in fact, still alive. Hugan, how dare. Hugan just, Hugan just likes uh, chaos. Guys, get in on the raffle while the ferret hits you with kindness. Hugan, thank you for doing that before the raid train comes. You naughty, naughty boy. We'll begin with the Redeemer. He a bad man. He very much a bad man. Very, very kind. Very, very loving, beautiful people. Very, very true. Very, very fat. Human, you are very kind, loving, and you fight crime. Very cool. And you're also a hero. Yes. True. Pick up! We have Wusa! Chat. Wusa! Is how you say. Very kind, very loving, very handsome. Very beautiful soul from the country of the France. Yes. He says, wee wee pomplemousse, voulez-vous? 
Is that it true? And very, very fast. We love you. Usa. It's true. Next up, we have Risto. Just Risto. Who said very naughty words today on his stream. Very, very naughty words. But very cute nonetheless. He likes the how you say. Put together a shirtless calendar for the orphanages. And Risto is doing the how you say. Hugs and kisses to the orphans and to the, the mothers of the orphans this year is very true and very fact. He is going to be giving kisses to orphan mothers. Risto on the shirtless calendar for the orphanages. He's through. We have Spark Pog Wash, that Spark Pog Wash, I got Spark Goose. He's very, very cool, very amazing, mama. Did not sleep much at all, slept four hours, plus a very, very tiny nap, Spark Goose. I want to make sure they get beautiful naps. Otherwise, I will cry, Sparky Pog Wash. I will cry if not have the naps. <laughs> we have Spikes on the floor, Spikes on the floor, is one of those best friends. They are going to uh, be neighbors and eat barbecue and beverage items and do the how you say. Scary movies and dramatic comedies. Very, very soon. They're going to be beautiful. four. Yes! Yes! Yes, Risto, you're going to kiss the orphan mothers for Christmas. Very cool. Very cool. Chat, how dare Usa? How dare he call? How dare he call me a fatty patty? Tactics, you're beautiful, you're kind tactics. Tactics, I very much love you. Tactics, you're a tactical wizard extraordinary. You've gone into our hearts. Chat, please tell me. Please tell me if I missed anybody who wants to be caught by the fat. Otherwise, I want to make sure they have a great stream. I want to thank you for the redeem for the yoga. Very true. And very fact. Yay! Alright, chat. Let's go ahead and do the raffle. Let's go ahead and do the raffle, folks. In a good old fashioned three. And maybe a good old fashioned two. And maybe a good old fashioned sure. one as well. Boop. Spikes! 24! Spikes 24, would you like the Gucci Kevin sticker? Magnet. Gucci Kevin Magnet. You got it, Spikes 24. Gucci Magnet. Thank you, Spikes. Thank y'all as well for helping us hit our weekly sub goal. Thank y'all very, very much. Viper Dog. Thank you for the tier one gifts. The banana Banana. And hi, TN. Hello, Professor Knight. Professor Knight, y'all, does not hydrate much. Professor Knight is one... Um, guys, Towards Knight does a very bad job at hydration. An extremely bad job at hydration. In fact, one time, he hydrated so little that he peed dust. Yeah. Woosa, see you over with Jern. That he peed dust. Please go follow the lovely Taurus Knight. Taurus Knight, folks, makes ice cream with nothing but his pectorals. He takes a wooden spoon, puts it between his pecs and flexes that makes them stir. And is delicious. It's uh, usually vanilla-based ice cream, if not strawberry. He's also exceptionally kind. Exceptionally wonderful. Uh, he also makes Crontrap Supremes with nothing but his biceps. Uh, he also, folks, um, is also clean shaven, just like Risto. He's like shaved like a surfboard. Totally, like, just you could use him like a dolphin, if you will, like going through the water. And, um, yeah, beautiful soul. Freestyle rapper extraordinaire and the most handsome man in New Jersey. He actually won this award. It was the award ceremony was in Chicago. Um, and he got to be there. He lined up. It was with a couple of other friendos as well, but he won it all, folks. He took home. Took home the big win. So, towards night, you're beautiful, sir. TN, today's a community day. Um, we are playing Gargoyles because it was a redeem, community redeem for us to hit that. And so, again, we're playing the Gargoyles game, remaster from 1994. I do have the original Sega Genesis game, but this is on the Nintendo Switch, TN. We are then going to have a. 
We're part of a raid train this afternoon. We'll be doing some microscopy. Which I think will be pretty fun. Yes. Yes, indeed. Also, effective immediately, I'm going to share a screenshot of my hydration result in every state. TN. What makes you think that we might think that those results are real? Like, I know I've been told by Andrew that you have Photoshop on six different computers in your home. Including your digital refrigerator. Your digital refrigerator has Photoshop on it towards night. Even your di your uh, washing machine has a Photoshop on it. Now, why am I to think that you might not just, you know, do the thing on it? Oh, man. Oh, there's all the trust, TN. But I also know you don't like to hydrate. It's a lifestyle choice that you made many moons ago. And I understand why you did originally, Professor Knight, but I would hope that after all that we've been through. You're a Pisces? I don't know what that means. Last time I, someone told me about their, uh, their sign, uh, they were trying to get out of a date with me. Oh, I know it's a fish, but I think he's going for a, a dating preference. They're like, I can't date you because I'm, you're a Gemini or something like that. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Yo, Mike, no you're not, TF. Please don't. Professor Knight, I love your pectorals. He comes in here, y'all, and causes chaos. I have to keep rewinding the game. Drink the tears? No, that's not, that's not. Your tears are full of salt, sir. Aha, we did it. Professor Knight, your tears are full of salt. That's not going to give you any kind of hydration. You don't! TN! No, no, no. TN, listen. Chat, do you know why I tell him this? Because on his stream, Professor Knight's stream, that he streams over 500 days in a row, this man has a hydrate redemption that is a limit of one time per stream, and sometimes he does a 24 hour stream. When you stream that long and you only drink once, no, 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 you don't. TN, I'm convinced there's not actually a water bottle there. You, TN, you told me. That other stream, you did this thing. You did this. You get, you went. And I was like, towards night, I didn't see anything in your hand. And you go, yeah, it was. It was green screened out. It does. There is no green screen in his room, Chad, as far as I know. <laughs> Hi, Debs. Debs towards nine is being naughty. It was an imaginate. No, there's no bears on TN's stream. TN has a rule, no bears here. It's actually, Sparky, if you go to towards nine's rules, it's the third rule down, no bears. Debs, TN refused to hydrate. He actually peed dust. He peed dust the other day. Um, I don't even know how that happens, but he did it. It was so dehydrated. It was just... <coughs> That's what happened. And I'm trying to keep him hydrated, and the other day when I went in there to hydrate him, he did this. And I'm like, Tian, I can't see anything. He's like, oh, it's green screen now. Like, towards night, there's no green screen in your room. And you're like, he's like, you don't know. He's like, you don't know. Deb Sox is also here. She's 
laying on the chair next to me. This cat, Debs, just follows me around and like sleeps on the chair next to me. I can't, I can't move the camera because she, when she's like this, she just likes to rest and likes cats. I know Noodle's gonna be very, very angry. Debs, no, 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 this was already our thing. Whenever I went over to Lita's mom's, uh, I'd probably disappear for like 45 minutes and it would be like, where's Blunt? Oh, he's probably just petting socks. And that's usually where it would be. Because I'm like, you know what? This I, I love petting those cats. I'm just going to hang out with the kitty cat for a while. He's a super kitty for two. Don't you dare towards night. TN! What can we do to show towards drink? night how much we love him? Max, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you, Max. No, we have to... We have to Prove to Tori tonight how important it is for him to hydrate. Um, yes, you do make ice cream with nothing but your pictorials. It's true. I do, but it's five minutes. It's not once a stream. Alright, guys. Here we go. There's TN right here. He's on the left-hand side of this beautiful image. You can see how extremely handsome he is. It's sick. Andrew's because someone tried to drown me once. Someone tried to drown me once. Cricket! Guys, you're not checking out Queen Cricket. She's the single greatest uh, philanthropist of our generation. She is a Pantene hair model. She's a supermodel extraordinary. She's on billboards across the state of Colorado. She is an absolute... She's also, like, gives away, like, love to the world. I adore this one beyond all reason. She right now has split hair personality. What that means is half the hair is one color, the other half the hair is the other color. And it's just the most stunning woman you've ever seen here at Pantene hair modelness. She also got her internet back yesterday. She's also got a pupper's name, Cortana. She has a husband by the name of Outlaw, who is in fact not an outlaw. He's just very naughty sometimes. Uh, and yeah, we adore Queen Cricket. Guys, go follow Cricket. She also has a redeem where she puts a helmet on her head to keep herself safe. She has the best laugh on Twitch. Uh, Cricket, we're looking towards night right now. Because he refuses to drink on his stream. I don't mean like alcohol. Of course he does not drink alcohol because that's a TOS violation. He would never do that. But instead, he doesn't hydrate with water on his stream, Cricket. He goes for eight hours plus and is just like, <laughs> and just like doesn't take any beverage items. And then just ends up being dehydrated and turns out Cricket last night, he peed, <laughs> exactly, he peed dust. That does not even pee there. Now he's not, and see now at a protest, Cricket, he's not gonna hydrate at all on his stream, so he's gonna, P super dust. Does he? No, he won't. No, I don't think so, Peter. Hi, Zeddy. What is super dust? Sparky would just have to wait and see. Sparky, I can't give away all the lore that has not yet to happen. The super dust will take place upon towards night lack of total hydration. Zebin, do you like my shirt? I do drink water and I do go to the bathroom and henceforth I would no longer make ice cream. Like That's not true, Tien. Tien, you can't stop what's inside. Towards night. I know you love making the ice cream with nothing but your pictorial. It's an addiction. It's a beautiful addiction, just like um, some of our friends at Queen Cricket, who's, you know, gonna be on billboards in the state of Colorado forever. You will forever make delicious ice cream with your pectorals. Guys, also go follow, if you haven't already, our friends from Cool Zeb and Cool Zeb from Zed on the planet, who uh, refuses to play Baldur's Gate. He tells me, but then I will play Baldur's Gate. I will play this for you. I will play this for you. And then I go over and I'm like, Zedman, where is the Baldur's Gate? And he's like, oh, we're playing Zelda tonight. 
And then last night, Cricket, did you see his cashmere sweater? Looking cool as Evan was wearing cashmere sweater. He claims he doesn't even own anything cashmere. He's wearing a beautiful cashmere sweater. And he still has not commented on my beautiful shirt yet. Lurk all night? I know, Cricket, you were hanging with GK. Hi. Hi. The socks is here. She has opinions on this, Evan, about your cashmere sweater. You want to come here? Yeah. Comment was about to play Dr. E. Mother, but sir. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Zedman. Thank you, Zedman. Uh, we are looking cool, Zedman, playing. This is a community goal. Um, <laughs> get high, get nerve dehydrate hard. Um, we're playing this community game for as a community goal. It is the remaster of the Gargoyles game for the Sega Genesis. We're also going to be uh, doing some microscopy at about 5.45 because there's a raid train coming through Danielle Allard stream that we're part of. And so that's going to be from 6 to 6.30, which we'll raid out to the next person on the raid train. Um, oh, no. Luckily, there's a rewind. Oh, no. There we go. Get it. Save here as well. Whew. Um, she's still not great. She's still not great. I know, and cricket. Cricket. Oh no. Cricket, I can turn on the old graphics. False battle. Speed run? Zebman, I don't even remember the last. So the last time I played this, sir. I guess I played it on the emulator for our thousand follower celebration stream and beat it, but like that was a one-off. Never know. This is so no. This is uh, that's the, the okay. So Smikes, they ruined the lore in this game. That is actually Hagon, one of just like the random Vikings. He has no powers. There is no reason for this whatsoever. It makes no sense whatsoever. But yet, here he is, like, shooting lightning. Doesn't make any sense, but that's what we're doing. Also, the game is on sale on this Switch store. Any of y'all really like Gargoyles and want to go back and kind of relive? I don't even, y'all. The Viking army invaded the Rookery and a savage attempted to destroy the Gargoyle Eggs. Level 2, Siege of the Rookery. Uh-uh, no, 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 Sparky. They reversed that. We can't have that anymore. Ah! Well, so Zedman, what doesn't make any sense... So, like, again, the lore is totally off and, like, who that was supposed to be. But, like, what are you going to do, right? Can't do any of it. This level, I remember, is a giant pain in the keister. Primarily because there's an entire zone of, like, really irritating hopping. That doesn't make any sense. I've updated my science camp. Please drop a follow for the incredible science. One of the best. Kind of me never. That said, is the most clean hydro. Wow. TN. That is, um, that's horrifying. For its nice. I guess I'll just have to be, I, I, I guess I'll have to be a forever lurker. I'll have to be a forever lurker now in your stream, Professor Knight. 
I'll be I'll be like what it was a little while ago, TM, where I was scared to talk in your stream for like two months. Because I didn't want to derail. Instead, I would just go in and hydrate you and just sit there and watch you do your thing in the shadows. Because I was nervous, sir. You know, you, you're becoming this big-time streamer. You're becoming all kinds of fans' pants. And I didn't know if it was okay to do things like that. The whole thing, Tien. Sir, you're beautiful. Professor Knight for partner, everybody. Tien, did I tell you the mods and I, we made a decision? And this is gonna be stupid, Tien. Like, it's not actually stupid, but it's a personal victory for me. The mods convinced me that we are worthy to apply for the ambassador position. They were like, you know what, let's just stop waiting. Let's just go ahead and write up the application and do it. And so at the start of the year, we're gonna submit it. Because TN, I don't believe that we're worthy of anything. Hi, Ninja Gloppy. Guys, if you're not checking out Ninja Gloppy. Ninja Gloppy, leader of the Sharks. Coordinator. Plays Rocket League, does astrophotography, does 3D modeling. Does all the things. Go check out the lovely Ninja Gloppy. We adore here. Uh, Ninja, I, I, I embraced it so hard that I even made a new emote. I made a new emote for the ambassador. Oh, I know I have imposter syndrome. But that's also not you. I have that in every aspect of my life. Very, very worst part. Yeah. Oh, 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 the timing of this area. Yikes. Yeah. And everything clips you. If you need a reason to watch Swords Night, type exclamation point TN in chat. He was also voted as the single most handsome man in the state of New Jersey three years running. Timing is off again. Uh, TN, don't lie. the old games were like intentionally partially busted to make sure that you had to stick a long time. Oh, 
timing of that gun. It shouldn't be Sparky. It's there we go. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. All right, Sparky. There we go. Woo! I don't think I need to go over there. It's glad to turn it on. Let's try it like that. There we go. Whew. Got it. Cricket, it's like cricket. We play so such harder games nowadays. It's almost like usually a like, don't celebrate this kind of like terrible attempt at something, right? We should be so much better than this. Like cricket, how is it that you and I can play Resident Evil 4 and things like that? Not bad on eyelash. You know what? It, it takes long enough to do, and then this happens. Hi, Zin. I mean, I think I'd read reports um, that had claimed cricket, like, for the old games, they were intentionally a little busted to make you have to play longer because there weren't technically enough levels. Yeah. It's going well, Zen. Like, it's still fun in its own way. There's some definitely some frustrating elements to it. But Zen, I think... We're just having a silly old fun time. Dan, doing all right, Dan. How are you doing today? 
Hi, Womp Womp. Welcome in. She likes to either sit on the chair next to me or in my lap. She's all about them singles. Is there a club? What kind of club? Cricket, this cat is just the sweetie. Almost a year? Oh, for little one? Yeah. Zen, her first Christmas coming up. Love learning instruments. Oh, sorry. I was almost. I joined or wanted to join the band, Spartacus, but uh, my parents said that won't help me get into medical school, and so we did not end up joining the band. So Sparky, dad got us, my sister and I, a keyboard. And he wanted us to learn how to play the keyboard, right? But the best part of it, Sparky, is that the way he wanted us to learn, he got us a book. Mind you, no, none of us had any idea how to read music. But he got us a book on, like, playing the, the piano or, or keyboard or whatever. Sparky, this was not meant for someone who had no experience. Why did he get this book? Because it was written by a Hungarian person. And uh, he was very upset when we didn't read it and didn't learn how to play the piano. And the most my sister and I did was we turned on the keyboard and there was like some preset buttons where it would replay some songs. And that's what we did. And we're like, alright. That's neat, I guess. Yeah, the demo, right, Cricket? That's what we did. Scientist, welcome back, Matt. Matt, today is we had a community goal for me to play the the remaster of the classic game Gargoyles off the Sega Genesis. This remaster is on the Nintendo Switch. Not, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Uh, 
I did too, Matt. So I, Matt, I loved the TV show growing up as a kid. We even have a redemption that I made on the stream. Because I love the Gargoyles so much. They even have the old Sega Genesis game from back in my youth. And so everyone knows how much I like Gargoyles, so we made it a community challenge. I think it was like 500,000 channel points. And so we're replaying it later on today. Um, at around 5.45, we're gonna switch gears and play, um, and do some microscopy. We're part of a Danielle Allard raid train. And so we're gonna be, the folks are gonna raid in. We're gonna do a little bit of science look at some really cool samples under the microscope and then we're gonna raid over to the next person on the raid list cricket queen cricket thank you for the tier one gifts of the sparky pug wash thank you cricket for that tier one gifts out to sparky pug wash sparky enjoy the ad reviewing and the emotes made with love now cricket uh sparky you can also hit the uwu command so should you wish uh, also, go follow Irish John. By the way, y'all. Not yet, Dan. Dan, we were. I thought we were gonna finish. I thought we were gonna finish, and um, we did not finish on Thursday. But I'm. One more stream should do it, Dan. In theory, allegedly, allegedly, one more, one more should do it. I love immunohistochemistry, Matt. I don't have any lasers here on these microscopes. That's like a next goal, stream goal eventually. It, it would be a very pricey proposition to raise funds for a laser to connect to the microscope, but that should be something to do um, hopefully in the near future. I would love to do like vital die stains. There we go. Oh. See, Zeddy was right. He 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 walked it off. There was a glitch. Yeah, there it is. stand in the center of him and keep hitting him, he won't be able to hit you because he, he can't actually trigger and so you can just get on in there and make his health go down, but you have to stand right at the right spot. And so I'm glad to see that that uh, cheating mechanic is still here. There we go. He didn't even get a hit on us. Boom! Flores and antibodies your flow. Nice, Matt. Uh, Goliath's flames would ruin the castle's punishment. He was cursed, sleeping so until the castle rose above the clouds. He waits. Why is the text so fast? A thousand years later, Castle Wyvern was rebuilt to have a, a Klaus, uh, skyscraper over the clouds. He no longer waits. So now we go to the future. So we go a thousand years into the future. Um, yeah. We're now in uh, full on Manhattan. I did not remember. I know we left out an absurd amount of secrets, I would imagine. Here's what the old graphics look like as well, if anyone's interested. So the neat thing about the game is that you can switch back and forth between the old graphics and the new graphics. So, like, this is what the Genesis looked like. I mean, for the time, I still thought it was pretty cool of an appearance of why, what the game looked like. And then live, you can change it. And then, yeah, Cricket, like, the modern graphics, like, they did a great job, I think, of the character design to make Goliath look like what he did in the cartoons. But, like... 
for a Genesis game in 1994, like, this is still pretty dang good. Like, the shadow effects on Goliath look cool. Sure, like, his eyes are the wrong color, but that's about it. They were supposed to be white. There's also these, like, droids that are coming from any... Like, like there's no backlot story as to where these droids come from. They just show up. Other graphics anymore can't... They're spo Yeah. Matt, I feel you on that. This, the only reason I think I still even, like, like the... The old graphics... Is that it's memory. It's like, oh, precious memories. And like, here's the glitch, right? Like, the robot falls in here. And you're like, alright, did I kill him? to it. Ah, uh, no. Be careful, Dan. Dan, I do that too when I'm trying to keep the glasses away from the little one. Because she has taken to, like, it's really funny to grab Dad's glasses. It is fair. Sometimes, Matt Scientist. Guys, by the way, Matt Scientist is another Psycom streamer. Go check out our friend, the Matt Scientist. New friendo, in fact. Matt, by the way, I saw you join the Discord. You actually don't have access to any of it yet. On the rules section, if you click the ferret emoji, then you gain access to the rest of the Discord. Otherwise, you'll go in there and you won't see a thing. But you just gotta click accept on the rules and then you'll be then you'll have all the all the toys available to you. I just noticed that last night. I was like, I should probably tell him if we see him again. We'll do it like that. I'm alright. Alright, we'll try again. Hi, Thindal. Thindal, this is Ant. Yeah, Thindal has revealed that he does not check the stream schedule. It's okay, Thindal. Most people don't. Thindal, this was a community challenge for us to play the remastered version of the classic Gargoyles. And we're also... Um, yeah, it's also Rise of Powers, the early release. It's, it's a very different game, but I'm, I'm digging it. The other thing, too, Thindal, is uh, we're part of a raid train today, led by Danielle Allard. And, uh... Oh. 
they're coming in at 6 p.m. Eastern, so we're gonna switch over to microscopy. And then we're gonna... After we switch over to microscopy, we'll have about till 6.30, which is when the next, uh, where we have to go next on the raid train. But I thought, why not then spend some of the Saturday stream? You know, a little bit of silly fun. Guys, go check out our friend Thindal, web dev extraordinaire, extremely handsome, extremely kind, extremely beautiful. Uh, he's got a kitty cat named Silly Willy McGee. Not at all named Silly Willy McGee, but if their name was Silly, Millie, Silly Willy McGee. Thindal, the cool thing about this game, I mean, they did a very faithful recapture, but look, Thindal, you can switch between the new graphics and the old graphics. And so for 1994, Thindal. Raiders! It's not that bad. Raiders! Oh my goodness, it's the one and the only Race the Rock Raiders! Science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here buffling. You be chugging what we got. Now the tribes arrive. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giant. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Just subscribe together to we can rule the galaxy. Get ready to blast off. The Ristaverse is in the house. Raiders! Welcome the heck in Risto! How was your stream? Tell me, tell me all the details. Walking cliche, thank you for the 13 month resub. First time chatters, TS Mind Sweat, Peekaboo, hello, hello, some mic somewhere, good to see you. How was the stream, Risto? Tell us all the details. I want to raffle, I'm so sorry I have to go into lurk mode, sir. Science. Did the internet not come back? Like, it was looking really fun. Guys, Risto was doing earlier today a recap. He's like his Twitch recap. He was also reading weird names from Twitch. It was a very new segment, but it went really nicely. He, uh, guys, go check out our friend Risto Rock if you're not already. He's a mental health chatter extraordinaire. He is a beautiful Vesto friendo. He's putting out a shirtless calendar to benefit a nearby orphanage chat. Uh, he's doing using like a local paper mill uh, in upstate Washington to benefit them. He's also doing a kissing booth. He's doing a kissing booth um, near uh, his, his hometown to raise funds for the calendar. Uh, please, chat, if you're not already checking out the lovely and amazing Ristrock88, Please go drop him that follow. And he's 38 away from 1,000. If he hits 1,000 followers before the end of the calendar year, he will, folks. He will be putting out that shirtless calendar a little bit faster than regular. A little bit faster than regular. Risto, please tell me the details of your stream. Tell me the best highlights, all the details I want to know. For the Raiders coming on in, my name is Balint. I'm one-third of Cyan Streams. We're going to play a quick channel trailer to tell you about who we are and what we do here. And today's a special day because we're playing... Uh, a blast from the past, past game. I'll tell you all about it in just a moment. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right on back. Welcome to Science Streams. If you are interested in all things science in a fun, wholesome environment, you are in the right place. Science is a unique husband and wife team of Belint and Lita who hold their PhDs in molecular and systems biology from Dartmouth. What can you find here? The science team is dedicated to making science more accessible to our entire community. They believe that it is the responsibility of scientists to engage with the general public, and Twitch is one of their media doing this. By showcasing their own research, highlighting new discoveries, answering viewer questions, and sharing their passion with you. We do a variety of interactive science streams, including microscopy of ancient amber with insects, 3D printing, art, science news and deep dives, the occasional game, and more. If you've ever wanted to have a fun space to nerd out, now is your chance. We stream daily science content here on Twitch. Understanding not just what we know, but how and why we know it is the essence of scientific knowledge. Check out the About page for more information. And consider hitting the Follow button to join our colony and our mission in science for all. So yeah, y'all, welcome the heck in. Rissa says it was an amazing recap. Had such a blast. Didn't know how I did. Yeah, you were crushing it, my good sir. And I liked that the most used emote on your stream was the lol. I like how you said that it was because... Um, you're like, we have a fun time here. We have a silly time here. Speaking of silly time, Risto, today we're having a very silly time. 
we're doing a couple of different things for the Raiders coming in. We're having a little bit of a throwback day. Uh, chat raised the channel points for me to play. The classic Sega Genesis game Gargoyles, the remaster of it, out on the Nintendo Switch. This is the original. This is like with the cartridge and everything. And so we're replaying the master. We're also going to be... We're also going to be, y'all, um, part of a raid train today. So at 6 p.m. Eastern, we're getting raid... We're, that's when our slot is. So the raid train is coming here at 6. And then we're going to... Right beforehand, we're going to shift gears and do some microscopy. And look under the microscope at some 30 million year old amber. And when the raid train comes in, we're going to show them some of our coolest pieces. And get them excited about science! At least that's the goal. Uh, and then we'll raid out ourselves to the next person on the raid train list. That was big gaming, sir. That was big gaming, sir. Thindal! Thindal, where is your sir? Have you submitted your sir yet, Thindal? Or even your Gucci? Gucci. I don't think so. Hi, Samurai Vic. Vic, how you doing? Good to see you, Vic. No, 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 not you three. Gucci? I'm Gucci. 30. 30. 3-0 map. That is every Monday we do that. NMD, aren't you live? I'm pretty sure she's live, Chad. She's just being naughty. Hold on. I'll check on her. Uh, yeah, so Matt, every Monday we look at 30 million year old amber with insects in it underneath the microscope and we, we try to identify what the samples are. Never looked at them in the past. Um, you, uh, Smikes, you just gotta have the self promo section of our Discord on and you'll get notified. You'll get notified when uh, NMD goes live. That's all you need to do, Smikes. Um, so we can do, we do that, Matt. We also on Mondays will look at other pre prepared samples in addition to, um, oh, what other kind of shenanigans are you do we do? Just all the things. Uh, NMD, you've got a raid! NMD, you've got a raid! We got a raid of 40 people and it's, it's, she's eating or something like that. NMD, go welcome the party people in. And I just resub, so go do that thing too. Um, and yes, Risto got purple unicorn panties today. And uh, he put them on. And he said he, they felt like uh, as good as the velvet that, or no, the, the cashmere sweater that Zedman had yesterday. I believe that was what um, NM, uh, Risto said. He also said some really silly phrases. But a lot of silly phrases today. Yeah. Have a good have fun, Harissa. Have fun shopping. Risto, we have you played this game, Risto? Risto Rock is is this is one of the, the original ways that we knew we were best of friendos, is that we love gargoyles. So Risto, this is originally from 1994 on the Sega Genesis, and they re remastered it for the Nintendo Switch. And so we'd be, oh! There we go. They remastered it, Risto, where you can actually switch between new graphics and upgraded sounds to the old graphics. It's actually pretty inexpensive for a, a game on the Switch store. I think it was like 15 bucks, something like that. And, um, I, th I was honestly ready to pay full price. I love gargoyles. I stupid love gargoyles. Uh, actually, Risto... Target made an oopsie, Risto Rock 88. Um, so, Risto, do you remember the action figures that they've been releasing? Uh, the new action figures from gargoyles? Hold on, I'll, I'll find it. Hold on. There we go. So Risto, I ordered one of these from Target. So, the, so NECA has been doing these really, really cool action figures uh, from all the old, like, all the Gargoyles characters. And this one is super, super cool because what they did, Risto, is they took the box from the Sega Genesis game and made the box 
for the action figure the same kind of cover and then they altered the colors of the gargoyle's character to be to look like what it looked like in the game brenda guys please go follow art and jeff legendary art streamer extraordinaire one of the kindest souls on the planet go follow her right meow if you're not already and please cause hype trains in the count down screen she loves hype trains in the countdown scene like just adores the I, I i go in there during the starting soon screen I'm like chew and instant chew everyone's just like all about it. and she's just like guys could y'all please calm down and then in the and you hear Don't calm down. and then we just keep doing it because we love her and then she scolds us for doing it and then it's even more yeah but risto i ordered one of these from target and they sent me two, so I think we're gonna raffle off one at some point. Goblins, how dare? How dare, Brent? No, 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 Brent, no, 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 no. You do not, no, no, no. There is no calmness in your screen, man. There is, there is beautiful chaos. Plus, I just love getting scolded. I go there to be scolded at this point. I'm like, you know what? Scold me for being generous. Let's do it. Um, yeah, amazing artiste. Go go follow her Patreon as well. Go give her lots of money on Patreon. Go give her lots of money on Instagram. Go give her lots of money on Twitch. She does a lot of charity events as well. And also, she's just breathtaking. So, I do. Bring it! Thank you for the other biddies! Brenda, the dinosaurs are not coming until 6 p.m. Eastern. So, we've got about two hours. We have about two hours, Brenda. Uh, we're playing the Gargoyles remaster as a community goal, and they hit the goal, so we're playing it, because I love Gargoyles. And then we're going to switch to some microscopy before I... Brenda! Thank you for the 100... Brenda, thank you for the 100 biddies, madame. Thank you very much. So we're doing microscopy once we... Um, right before the, the dinos come through. Brenda! Echo, echo, echo. I find my prey, I find my way. Which, thank you as well. Thank you for the 100 bits. Bring it! Thank you for the 100 bits. Brenda, thank you for uh, the echolocation as well. Hogan. Thank you, Hogan. For the 100 biddies. Chad, if we complete any level of the hype train, we will do raffles for stickers. Brenda, BT dubs. BT dubs. I hear chaos happening, y'all. Where is it? I hear chaos. I'm trying to find this item. Where did I put this item? I have stickers with Brenda's face on them. I have stickers with Brenda's face. Ah! Cricket, thank you for the community give sub, Cricket, to. Cool! And Smike, thank you for the tier one gift set to Art and Jess. Guys, enjoy the ad free viewing and the emotes made with love. I'm trying to find these stickers with Brenda's face on them. They were here somewhere recently. I just saw them because I was waiting for her to come back so I could show her these stickers. And I don't remember where I put them.
Brenda, I even have like a sticker book now. Hi, now, Welcome in. I have a sticker book now that I was gonna like put your face in with the stickers. I wonder where the devil they went. They were here very recently. Because I was... Smikes will laugh. I was cleaning up the office. Alright, I know they're around here somewhere. Aha! <laughs> Brenda! Uh-oh. I knocked over... <laughs> I knocked over the, uh... The switch. Oh, look, chat. We're gonna go ahead and put in the, uh, the stickers. Into the, the sticker booklet. We're gonna put in the sticker booklet. Yes, uh, plug everything, uh, Smike, please. Guys, we will be having a raffle for stickers. So every level of the hype train that we complete will unlock stickers or a magnet of your choice. Hogan! Hogan, thank you for the five tier one gift subs, Hogan. Two. Full Stack Live, XTC901, Hoot House live stream, Ashizzle, Poundo Pig 21 Hogan, thank you for the five tier one gift sub. That will be at least two raffles. Guys, exclamation point raffle to enter. Exclamation point raffle to enter while we stick Brenda's face in the sticker book. Look, it's a Kells Bell sticker. All right. Brenda, I knew I was saving these stickers for a rainy day. Brenda's like, <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. Yeah, get supported, Brenda. Guys, that's always more raffle to get on in there. If we complete level five, I'll put on a ferret onesie and we'll raffle um, pins and sticker sheets. Yeah, Hogan, thank you for those five tier one gift subs. Also, let's see. Oh no, Brenda, am I unable to take off the stickers? Have I waited too long? Brenda? Chat? Chat? The stickers refuse to come off. No, 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 hold on. This is gonna happen, folks. Are we fighting for this opportunity today? Well, you dang well better believe we are. There we go. Oh, it works. Oh, it works. Oh, look. There is Brenda's face in the sticker book. Sticker number one has been stuck. <laughs> I, I'm so glad. I feel like Brenda, for some reason, that that might not that might not be uh, your true feelings. Let's do another, folks. The WOW sticker. I think the WOW sticker needs to go earlier in the book. Oh, here we go. Right underneath Bit Gaming. Where can you get these? There's a fourth wall store, Smikes. I actually don't know if these were a limited run. Oh, their entire collection. That's why Brenda came in today. She wanted to see these old stickers and go down memory lane. True. Science. We get experimental. Yes, science. We're curious, non-judgmental. Always good vibes when science on screen. Time to learn live with science streams. Science. We get experimental. Science. 
curious, not judgmental. Always get vibes when science on stream. Time to learn live with science stream. Welcome to the science family. Happy to meet ya. Let's introduce our scientists. There's Balint and there's Lita. Mom and Dad up in the lab. The dream team and their heart. They share a passion for wholesomeness, for science, and for art. Science is for everyone. All backgrounds, all ages, all genders, and all walks of life deserve an education. Come be one of us. Spark your inspiration. Art and science are one. They're a conversation. Seven days a week. The fun is interactive. Science experiments done on stream are so fantastic. You'll see microscopy. It's super dope. It means checking out tiny worlds under a microscope. You learn about ecology, neurobiology, evolution, and of course bug out on entomology. Get the latest scoop of science news when you stop by. We also break down sci-fi movie science on the live. Antonia, the leaf cutter ad, or Adesafalodes, stars in our book game and she's the twitch emoji. You'll meet cannoli, noodle hops, and barley too. When there's a hype train, the cats can party with our crew. Inherently important, and what we truly cherish is community support. Wholesome expression ferret keeps it wholesome AF with kindness in the chat, cause our crew is the best. That is true, that is fact. Science! We get experimental science. We're curious, non judgmental. Always good vibes when science on screen. Time to learn live with science streams. Science! We get experimental science. Curious, non judgmental. Always good vibes when science on screen. Time to learn live with science streams. Yo, chat, who's ready to learn with science streams? Thank y'all very much for that level two hype train. Yes, Brenda, that is Miss Shells. She is the creator, the singer, the songwriter extraordinaire behind the science theme song. In the meantime, I've gotten more of Brenda's stickers here in the sticker book. Look at that. There's the beautiful Brenda stickers. Lovely. Thank you for the stickers again, Art and Jest. Guys, if you would like to get in on the sticker raffle, we've got some stickers to raffle off. I know she loves it, right? Look, there's even some hidden ones around here. Because, like, look, there's the... Oh! Right there. I believe that was the only other sneaky place where I had room elsewhere. But, yes, uh, there is... There's Brenda looking at me today. And also today, oh God. but also today, but at the end of the day, happy, end of the day, happy. Aristo, Risto, would you uh, like to enter the sticker raffle? No pressure at all to do so, Risto Rock, but you may, sir. We're doing uh, two raffles for that choo-choo. Let me go ahead and show y'all what you'll be able to win. Again, exclamation point raffle and hello, Queen Yogurt. Yogurt, Gerald, Yogurt, we were sticking Brenda's face in the booklet. Because uh, she came in here being naughty. She came in here being naughty. And so now she's in the sticker booklet. These, I've been holding on to yogurt for months. At least six months. Hoping for the day that Art and Jess would come into this stream. The stream of the streams. For us to be able to show off her stickers. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and roll. We've got two stickers to be one. Two stickers to be one. Let's go ahead and give these a roll in. No, boop, boop. Three, two, one. There's okay. five. Five Kevins. Hogan 698, Hogan 698, you've won a sticker or a man. And Hogan, what would you like off the menu? Hogan, the Gucci Kevin is also unlocked for today. Well, and tomorrow too, Hogan. What would you like, Hogan? You have any one of these? Uh, M1 through 5 are magnets. The S ones are stickers. And then there's also uh, the Gucci design. Hogan, let us know what you would like off the menu. Again, Gucci design, that's a holographic sticker or a magnet, or there's any of these as well that you may pick from. Let us know, Professor Hogan, what you would like. In the meantime, let's go ahead and run. Oh, hold on. I need Kevin Magnet. You got it, Hogan. Kev Magnet. 
And uh, Hogan, I think you might... I might have your uh, address, but if you wouldn't mind resending it to me just in case, either Twitch Whisper or, Di or Discord is Gucci, and I'll get this sent out to you. I might be able to go tonight to the post office and drop it off in the mailbox. Jaden, 20 stream streak. Let's go, Jaden! All right, one more. One more sticker or a magnet raffle in three. In oh, also, Hogan, did you want the Gucci Kevin magnet or did you want this Kevin magnet? Hogan, let me know. Did you want this Kevin magnet or the Gucci Kevin magnet? Because there are two Kevin Magnets right now. This is the Gucci design here. Just checking, Hogan. Let me know what you would like. Oh, yeah. No, Brenda's gone. The Gucci? Okay, you got it. No, Brenda's gone. Brenda's like, I can't, I can't take it here. This guy shouts, and there's... There's, there's no, there's just madness here. She's, I know, I know. It's disgusting. It's really disgusting. Guys, one more sticker raffle. Eight, three, two, one. Jaden Ferry. <laughs> Jaden Ferry, you won a sticker or a magnet. Jaden, what would you like? Um, off the menu, you've got a lot of delicious options to pick from. Uh, what would you like? There's these, but there's also the Gucci Kevin magnet or a sticker. So either one, you can pick anything from here or the Gucci design. Let us know what you would like, Jaded. Let us know what you would like today, Jaded Fairy. And then Jaded, I think you, I know you've sent me your address because you've won stuff in the past, but I can't remember if it was on Discord or Twitch Whisper. So if you could just ping me again of like, here it is. S6, you got it. If you can just give me a ping, Jaded, on wherever you sent your address last time, and I will actually send these off tonight. I got a couple to do. I finished addressing everything from the week, and so there'll just be a little bit, this last bit to go, and we'll get those sent out for y'all tonight. Guys, thank you for the hype train. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, we scared off Brenda. She's just like, I can't handle it here. This fella is, just, is loud and obnoxious and a whole thing. So, y'all, we are continuing our playthrough. Gargoyles! That I am, like... Oh, there's Elisa Maza. So, that is supposed to be an Easter egg, y'all, of Elisa sleeping. Because there is a episode called City of Stone. Where, uh... Everyone at night, at night turns to stone, and that's what's supposed to be a reference here. So, see in the original... She actually looks like she's actually looking like she's stoned, so they actually messed it up in the remaster. Um, it's actually not the correct way of how they were supposed to do it. So that's a, a little Easter egg of them getting something wrong. Because here it looking at looks like a regular person, but in the original it was like a stone figure of them. Because they were blending some episodes together uh, that they maybe should not have. Go. Oh, I need to go back and kill that guy. Can I? Yes. Yogurt, I have the rewind ability. Smikes, was it the 1,000 follower celebration stream where we had a whole manifesto? Thank you, Jaded. On gargoyles and the biology of turning to stone and the genetics behind what that might entail. I think it may have been that, Spike. Maddie Holmes was like f super serial about it. Yogurt, what's super cool, I think you jaded. What's super cool, Yogurt? In my mind. Look, Yogurt, you can switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. And yogurt, so it's on, a, on the Nintendo Switch. And it is like on stupid discount, actually. I think it was like $15. Considering how much like a lot of the, a lot of games cost nowadays, even remasters, like are absurdly expensive, right? So. 
it was cool to be able to get them for like pretty inexpensive on there. Go. Mike's, I think you're a hundred percent right. I think I think Brenda left because she was disgusting with us. This rewind feature yogurt was not something in the original. It would have made it worlds easier, but <laughs> I like the rewind feature. I'm like, I'm old at this point. I can't be playing this and like being upset. Which is quite sad, Yogurt, because I used to play games on hard. Like, when I was playing the Resident Evil remake recently, I'm like, I remember when I beat this on hard. And now, I can't even. Give sub, what channel, Smikes? Mike's with some if you've been raided to a channel and then you know like you get raided on further because you were in that original channel at one point Mickey the Panda oh yeah Mickey the Panda raided here the other day I think we met them from a mutual friend so we may have ended up there at some point. Of course, Mike's is like, what on earth? Terrible, the only way I could play Resident Evil is... See, Hogan, I would thoroughly enjoy Resident Evil 4 if it had infinite ammo as an option. I enjoyed it anyway. It's like it, that was one of my favorite games back when it was on PS2, and the remaster hit hard. Like it was really, really good. Um, Cricket, did you see that the record hype train level was broken a few days ago, and then the following day it was broken on the exact same channel? Yes, Cricket, would you like to see what the final record looked like? Keep in mind, this was two days in a row on the same channel. Five hundred and twelve percent of a level fifty five. Nine, almost 10,000 subs, over a million bits, and this was back-to-back -back days. So the day before, the day before Cricket, the day before that this person hit a level 50, like 55 at a lower percent, and then they beat it the next day. This is Pirate Software. It's a game dev stream. Yeah. A game dev stream broke the record. Not a hot tub. Mm -hmm. I think someone dropped 4,000 subs yesterday. Like one person dropped 4,000 subs. And I was like, that is pretty crazy. Time. It is. <laughs> a cricket. I... <laughs> Cricket, 
this is what this is my takeaway in two days this man made more streaming than what I make for a nine to five for an entire year plus my streaming plus my consulting gig so the three jobs that I work a year to support my family was beaten in two days on a twitch stream which, I mean, good for him, you know, that he's able to do it full-time. If I had that happen, I'd obviously be overjoyed as well. But, like, wow. He also keeps ferrets. Like, real-life ferrets. And he, like, rehabilitates them. First time I played this game, Smikes, I thought that character that just walked past us was the dog. It is in fact not the dog. It is not Bronx. $300,000? That's a... So is that in one stream or is that across the two days? Because the, the two days, he was it was essentially that amount. Every bit is worth one penny, still $13,000. Yep, two days in a row, Hogan. But then the subs, too, right? There were near 10,000 subs, and so that's... 250,000? No, 25,000 $25, in subs. That's in one sitting. That's still a lot. GGs. I mean, you know, and, and well, and I, oh, and Smikes actually, because he's part of the Partner Plus program, so it's a 70 30 split. So it's not the same split as a regular partner. He's got the Partner Plus split. So it's 70 30, so it's, yeah, it's even better. Years away. I know, right, Hogan? They made more in 24 hours than I make in working three jobs a year. Oh, I need to find a new line of work. Also, the difficulty too, right, Hogan, that we have to keep in mind is where the health insurance is. Presumably, if this is your full-time gig, you're using Cobra, and that's 900 a month. And so that, that adds up pretty quickly. But... You know, it's still a, a nice, like, it's a nice goal. Like, you can survive off this. Maybe not the easiest way, but still.
might be trying to go to that platform. There we go. Haha. -ha. No, I hit the reverse. Bengals won? Heck yeah. Who are they playing? Alright, landed. Fine. Oof. Private insurance are off the marketplace. For the, Yeah, exactly. Almost paying a grand a month for healthcare. Yeah, that's uh, yogurt. We have to do that when... When Lito was told not to come back because she had a kid, uh, we, have, we were told to go on Cobra for two months and not put her on my insurance yet because her old workplace would pay us. And that was back in April, and we're still waiting on near $2,000 from her old workplace, and they refused to send us the money. Yeah. Um, okay, they beat Minnesota. I, I saw some tweets coming in Smice. Was it a good game? It's also Saturday. Is that standard? Like, are they supposed to be playing today? That's true. Hogan, you can write off apparently gift subs as a business expense and bids as an expense expense. Is this new, Smike? Did they do this last year? Or is this like a this year kind of thing? I don't remember this being a thing. I always thought it was like, you know, of course on, on Saturday, like Sundays only. It's for years? Well, I'm sorry, Hogan, I just... <coughs> Hogan, I'm a... A who day jabroni, as it were. As a as a possible item, right? A, a who day jabroni? That's a thing, right? Oh, is college football over? I I done did a bad job, Smiles. I don't actually remember. Guys, are you following cricket? Go follow our friend Queen, Queen Cricket. She uh, is a supermodel on billboards in the great state of Colorado. She also has a helmet that she wears to keep herself and others safe. So please go follow her and support safety. She's also a variety streamer, self-described. Whenever we raid over, she always says, I'm a variety streamer. So I always like to, to you know, use the phrases that she uses. She's also, a, what is it, I think in her, in her Twitch About Me section, I think it says like self-described village person. You're following, thank you, Jaden. She is, a, again, a Pantene hair model, Jaden. Which I think is really cool that we have a Pantene hair model. My little brother, when uh, we were in Florida, he heard that that we there was a hair model in our quiz, and she was like, he was like, that's amazing. I'm like, it is pretty amazing. We're very lucky. Oh. No, I can't go in here. Come on now. Boo. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, we do actually, we jaded. We have a couple of celebrities in our midst. Yogurt Garrel is on billboards in the great country of Canada. Sure, it's only Gucci. Very Gucci. Uh, from Saskatchewan to go back to Montreal and more. And then, of course, we have Queen Cricket. There's a lot of. A lot of celebs here. Cricket likes to deny Jaded about how much of a celebrity she is. Uh, that's just because she doesn't want us little people to feel bad about ourselves. You know, she was, she's a very humble, very humble um, streamer and person because she remembers a time that we were all bullied, you know, as children. And so she doesn't want us to relive those. She doesn't us feel like she might be one of those bullies, you know? She's very supportive, even though, you know, she's like, Belen, you might look like a mutant, but I love you. And I'm like, thank you, Cricket. She said that in the most loving way. Yes, Queen Neuralicia, who is, uh, has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Los Angeles. Wincing! 
Happy Wednesday plus three, Winsing. Winsing. Playing Gargoyles. The remaster. As a because of the Ah community redeem. And Winsing, what's really cool about it is that you can switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. Old graphics here. New graphics here, different sounds as well. It's pretty cool. The streamer that set the record, if I made that much money in a day, I would spend it on equipment that's tax deductible. Easy for me since I stream from my welding shop. Really expensive. How yeah, then you just write it all off, right, Hogan? Like, yeah, it's all a business expense. When saying I'm sending out your stickers, I'm probably tonight. I imagine what I'll do is uh, we'll get our dinner for date night. And on my way to get it, I'll stop by the post office and put stuff in the mailer. No! I win. I tell you, I get stressed out about those items. I'm like, I never want people to feel like I'm slacking. In, uh, in when I uh, send off their stickers. So I know people will be like, oh, don't worry about it. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Because what if you think that I'm like, you know, taking advantage of your kindness or something like that? I'm like, I don't want that to happen. So then I get like really nervous and I just like try to rush out and do it. Thank you for booping the ferret, Matt. Matt, that will give you access to the rest of the server. You'll see science chats, pet photos, all kinds of silly willy items that you'll have at your fingertips. For a month, get more bang. No, no, Winsing. The win, win. No, 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 I can't do that. Because Winsing, what if you're like, what if you're really excited, Winsing, for a speaker? Right, and instead of getting the sticker, you wait two months. And by that point, you're like, I forgot I was even getting these, and I've even forgotten what streamer this is from. Clearly, they're a jabroni. See, Winsing, it can, it can go crazy like that. And apparently, I also can't do this jumping. I need Cricket to teach me. Cricket's done this kind of jumping IRL. When she goes uh, dirt biking. That's why she has all the really cool uh, safety equipment. Just like Hogan, except she has it for dirt biking and the helmets. So. There we go. Look at that. Um, parkour, parkour! Exactly. Uh, you would... If you had a postage machine, yes. Smikes, I, look, my anxiety is very bad sometimes. Want to dirt by Cricket? Listen, yogurt, I would be, you know what I want to do with Cricket? I'll go dirt biking with her, but I won't get on any bicycle. Instead, I'll just hang out and watch, and then I'll go to the beach with her and outlaw. And, uh, and Cortana and drink drinks on the beach. I'm all up for that. I think Cricket would be a lot of fun to drink beverage items with on the beach. The whole dirt biking thing would be terrifying. Yeah, the beautiful lake, yeah. Or where she got married and she had those really, really, the beautiful wedding photos that she posted with her and Outlaw. Let's go there. Totally fine. We'll have a beverage and just look at the nature. I'm good with that. But yogurt. I can't be doing no uh, dirt bike here. I'll die. Actually, Cricket, I did dirt biking once. So, Cricket, have I told you this story? I don't think I have. 
this gentleman's name. He was in, I think I met him in like middle school. His dad, so Cricket, their house was four stories. I remember this because as a child I was freaked out by this, right? Four story house. His dad made weapons for the United States government. It was amazing. He had grenades in his in his bedroom. They were granted they were non-functional grenades, but they were still grenades in his bedroom, right? And he had there was a golf course on his property. There was um, like a series of stables with horses and horseback riding that they had. They had pretty much everything there at Queen Cricket. And what ended up happening next, Queen Cricket? Uh, welcome back, Wusa. How was Jern? Uh, what ended up happening the next, next cricket is we went dirt biking and... We did dirt biking and, um... Gosh, what is it called? Not dirt, what's the, uh, the other, the car that you drive around with, the? Uh... I'm, 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 I'm spanking you, I'm losing y'all of what it is. Um, not the, like the, go-kart, go-karting. It was, uh, yeah, it was an ATV cricket. So I actually, I took, so my friend was driving the, the dirt bike, I was driving the ATV, and I crashed Cricket and broke the belt of the ATV. So if we go dirt biking, expect that to happen. It'll be an absolute calamity, and uh, it's probably not a, a safe thing for us to do. It's probably it's probably not going to be Gucci to say the least, if I might say, Green Cricket. Now, Cricket, he actually went, uh, his dad went to prison. His dad went to prison. Um, he was set, his dad was selling weapons to the wrong country, but they got to keep the house. They got to keep the house. Guys, go follow Sense of Decay. She's live right now. I think she's uh, doing some only pans. Go follow Sense of Decay. Um, oh, you make razor for a nice Hogan. That's awesome. Always breaking stuff, but we don't bring lots of tools and somehow people know how to fix it. Nice, Cricket. Do you have your own dirt bike or do you all rent? Guys, go follow Queen Sense Decay doing the Only Pans special stream today. The question is, where do I go from here? Nope. Where the devil? Oh. Ha. Outlaw has his own. The friends and I go and have an insane amount of dirt bikes, and they have a specifically meant for me to ride. Aw, Cricket. It's beautiful. The Arctic Cat Factory for a number of years. Hogan, what does the Arctic Cat Factory put out? <laughs> that looks like a mole person. Oh my god. That is hilarious. Uh, Cricket, tell Sense about the mole people. Snowmobiles and ATVs. Nice. Oh, there we go. That light is what we need to go to. Whoa. Okay. Two snowmobile factories on Earth. Two of them are 60 miles apart in Minnesota. Nice. I work for both of them. Excellent. Skip the pickle, aka skip the bell. 
Guys, go follow the amazing Skip the Pickle, aka the lovely Skip the Bell. Skip, good morning. Skip, how was the night work? How are you doing today? Skip the Pickle. Skip, I had some... There was something pickly that I was in my life today, and it made me think of you. I don't remember what this pickly thing was. But I thought of you. I don't remember now, Skip. I apologize, but it was very pickly. We're playing the uh, Gargoyles Remaster, Skip. Which uh, came out on the Nintendo Switch. It's the Sega Genesis Classic. Uh, there's a community goal for us to play. Whoa! Here, it can, you can even see it with the old graphics, Skip. And the old sounds. Skip, we're gonna switch to some microscopy in a little bit. Probably like an hour. See how far we can get. I'm I'm going just off memory on this skip. And I know I'm missing like a ton of the secrets. But I just have to be okay with it for this playthrough. Sending the bad guys. So, yeah, the moment I take out one, there's another one that comes. Skip, I took a great uh, clip of your brother today. He was being very misbehaved on his stream. I know, right? It was crazy. Like, that's not like Risto at all, too. It's kind of naughty work. <laughs> he looked he looked marginally exasperated by the end of it. He's like, alright, I don't even know what to do with this. Nathan Gamer plays Raiders! Science stream, science stream, but we ain't bugging. We over here buckling. You be chugging while we got it. The tribes arrive. I promise that I have prescribed you vibes. The vibes we got are giant. Shout out to the stream for the raid. That's science. Raiders! Welcome the heck in. Nathan Gamer plays. How was the stream? How was? Sea of Thieves. Tell me all the details. Did y'all have a nice time? What was the best part of the stream? I want to know the details. Also, Soulless Frog. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Guys, go check out our friend Nathan Gamer Plays. 
right meow there is that heart button that you can hit at the top of the chat go follow our friend nathan gamer plays nathan how was the stream how was the stream what were y'all up to today uh i lost something i totally didn't search for for 30 minutes <laughs> wow was it obvious in terms of location or no was it was it a mystery of where you were supposed to go to um oh it was chaotic and fun nice we are having our own type of chaos here today um my name is Balint for the raiders coming in i'm one third of science streams the other two thirds are my wife lena and our daughter baby ilona we're research scientists and we do interactive science streams here on twitch most days of the week with microscopy art sci-fi science science news of the week deep dives scientific topics games 3d printing irl streams and more welcome the heck in y'all today is a community redemption day for the most part um the community raised 500,000 channel points for me to do a replay of the game Gargoyles. The classic Sega Genesis game. Remastered and re-released on Nintendo Switch. So we're playing that. And then we're also part of a raid train later today. And for that raid train, we are... Um, it's the, organized by Daniela Lard. And we'll be switching over to some microscopy in a little bit. So looking at tiny worlds under a microscope. Uh, you lost the worst possible place. Nathan, if there's a clip that you want to share or anything at all, feel free to drop it in the chat or in the Discord. And we'll show it off to the party people. Y'all, thank you again for that raid. <laughs> there's, uh, there's astronomy show doing ooh. -oo. Yeah, so KK, the raid train is a 30, everyone gets a 30 minute segment. And I was like, well, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started earlier. <laughs> and uh, play some of the game and then switch over to microscopy and that was the plan for uh, when the raid train comes in. Yeah, so Nathan, that is Astronomy Show. We have another one that's from Risto Rock 88. Um, Risto is doing a very, uh, he also does a, a silly pants uwu. It's on a randomizer, so I never know which one's going to show up. Um, no, no, no. Game time. KK, this was a community redemption that people wanted us to do. Uh, I plan, KK, this evening to, after Lena and I have dinner, to play either the new God of War some more or the new Star Wars. Probably the new Star Wars I think we'll play tonight. Because I've been... I haven't had any chance and time to do like this week kk and last week i had near like nine or ten hour day work work day of just meetings and so i'm like you know there was like no chance to really unwind because right after meetings you know it's stream prep stream which stream like gets me like you know it's it's relaxing for me but also like I do like the idea of kicking back a little bit and just like not thinking anything. Also, when I play games, I tend to be very distracted. Like I'll have my phone out and I'll, I'll check in on other people's streams. I'll check on Twitter and Facebook. I'll just go at like a super so, slow pace for the sole purpose of just like, you know, having a good time. So yeah, Nathan, this is a, a community redeem. Uh, this is obviously the remaster, but you can switch to the old graphics if you so chose. The nice Sega graphics. Um, and Nathan, it's on sale on the Switch store. So it was like $15. Which for like a remaster. Is a pretty good price. There's a lot of remaster. Like I'm just thinking of like the Resident Evil 4 remaster. You know, I mean, I played it, I got it, but it was like, you know, $60 plus, I think, another 20 for the DLC. Obviously, this is not as beautiful of a game, but I loved the TV show as a kid. So, I, uh, I 100% heard. I was like, I don't play it. Yeah, but... Oh, because KK, if you put you buy it online, then it's not an issue, right? But don't you have to do um, match your billing zip code? Right in some places, that's now a thing. 
And so if you have, you need, to, you can't then do it because if your billing zip code doesn't match, then your the hack won't work. Oh really? Okay. Hi, Neuronet. What? Can I do? Yeah, it was. Oh, it was such a good TV show. And Nura, they actually started continuing the plot line in a comic book series. The original creator, because um, season three wasn't what he wanted, they actually got rid of him because they weren't willing to give him like the creative freedom that he wanted for season three. And so then in 2000, I, I forget which 2000, 2002 maybe, he put out a comic book series on what his season three would have been that was officially licensed by Disney. And then since then, he started up another comic series started last year. Um, that's a continuation of that season three. So I guess it's like the season four equivalent of, um, of Gargoyles. And it's, I mean, they're super short, right? They're short comics. But it's, it's kind of cool to see what the plot line could have been. There's also a rumor, I mean, it's, I think it's, it's confirmed now that there's going to be a Gargoyles TV show on Disney+. Plus. And it's going to be live action. But the live action sounds weird. In that it doesn't sound like it's going at the same plot line as what had been in the, uh, the TV show. So there's only going to be... If you believe the synopsis, right, it's going to be Goliath comes back to life after a thousand years in stone and meets Elise and they solve crime. Is the synopsis. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be the other gargoyles necessarily. But it does kind of read in a, a weird way. Like, I hope they don't change it that much. I also want to believe Nura because I. It was such a good TV show. And I, you know, I grew up to it. Yeah, it would be. Egg Excellent. Alright, we've been in a. Oh! Save. Save here. Oh, we're only going an hour. Alright. I had some memory of this boss battle. Big old yikes. Trying not to go, uh, and take out my health. I just can't remember how I ended up hurting him last time. Like, is it just honestly like this? It was this simple where I just keep hitting. Yeah, alright, that's it. And he just 
randomly the game glitches and I, I fly off the edge. That's fine. It's fine. Fish, how you doing, Kaifish? Kaifish, Gargoyles Remaster. Have you played it yet, Kai? There we go. Ooh, two taken down. Uh, why do people still go door to door? Does anyone... I don't know, KK. I get a lot of people door to door. Yeah. Um, go on the outside of the spike. So I got two of them, Matt, but I feel like those have to come up. And then, then I can go on the side. So Kai, they remastered this baby. Gargoyles from Sega Genesis. And what's cool, Kai, is that you can uh, switch between the graphics of the old game and the remaster. And so this was a community redemption for us to play the remastered version. And then we have a raid train coming through in about an hour, which we'll switch to some microscopy. Look at tiny worlds under a microscope. And then we'll raid out ourselves. This is a little harder because then he starts shooting the green laser in my way here. Yeah, I know, right? It's like they shouldn't have been as as hard as it is. out cricket we bought it last night when gk came in he said the new single was out so i went and downloaded it 
You don't have eye suits. Everyone has eye suits. It's on Spotify as well, but everyone's got iTunes. Ooh. All right. Almost. Last last little area. Is it really not called iTunes anymore? Throat hurts are stabbing, stinging, feeling my leg. Are you eating more grass? Womp womp. Oh, it's Apple Music. Songburger! Guys, we're not checking out Songburger. Legendary retro gamer extraordinaire and burger. Please go call our friends Songburger. Folks, right meow. There we go. Ah, uh, well, Cricket, either way, I got, um... Here it is. It's called Good Morning. You single. Supposed to be taking a nap. They're very misbehaved. They're very, very misbehaved, Marissa. I don't think you can nap if you're on Twitch, uh, Mini Harissa. Except if you like have Rista Rock on and he's doing a guided yoga meditation. We did it. I don't know why we did it. But that elevator went on for far too long, Cricket. The curse was lifted, but an ancient evil still haunts Goliath. The Eye of Odin has survived to become a weapon for a new enemy, a new kind of army. Level 4 subterranean terror. The story is super loosey goosey. It is. <laughs> Thanks, Kai. Kai too. Congrats on the elevator boss. Oh, no, no, the elevator boss. See, Kai, here's the old level. Like, the design of it old. It actually, for a 1994 game, looked pretty good. I was pretty happy with it for the old, old appearance to it. But I like the new one as well. Alright, let's see. Do we start here? Nope. Alright. You need a socks pick. Socks wasn't here earlier. Probably just hungry. 
On Discord, there was a cute. Today was, uh, there was a cannoli one today. Oh, where's my treasure? Dang it! Is there an older socks I missed? Maybe. Uh, about an hour, Mike. So we'll, we'll shift to, uh, Cross because we probably have 45 minutes. There we go, got some treasure. Excellent. Yo, we're making good. I think there's only five levels in this game, to be totally honest. Is that the X that it only triggers, y'all, when that X comes? When I cross over. Alright, there we go. Down again. Down again. Again. As our friend Jimmy B says, see the path? Know the pattern. old look to it, so there's the retro feel. Whoop! There we go. Whew. Hi, Dark Light. How you doing? Darklight, how are you doing today? It's good to see ya. Remaster of Gargoyles today, Darklight. This was a community redemption. We filled up the, the goal for this game. Whoop. Alright, we're good. Three hundred oh no, five hundred thousand pounds I think. No, we alright, we can't go that way. Go this way. Get a treasure item here and let's see if we can jump through. Nope, not on that front. Yeah, Dark Light, this was one of my favorite. This is my favorite TV show as a kid. And Dark, I have the original Sega Genesis game. So, original Sega Genesis. Playing the remaster. So far, it's holding up okay. And I really like Dark Light, that you can switch back to the old graphics. Am I catching some of the frustrating things as well? You better believe it. Like, I just want... 
go. Oh, I missed the pattern again. What, what is that one? Okay, so leap. There we go. All right. Hide out place. Guys, just a reminder, a couple of more follows to go do. Go follow our friend Irish John Games. If you have not already, go follow our friend Journey Wernie. Extremely handsome, extremely kind is the Journey Wernie. Go ahead, drop him a follow, write me out, Irish John Games. Maker of all the things. Irish who Jern Woosa! Hold on. Where is my button for Birdie? This is a dinosaur. This, Birdie. Birdie dinosaur. Dinosaur Birdie. Birdie Birdie dinosaur. Dinosaur Birdie Birdie. Exactly. Exactly. So. An extra life there we're gonna get. The extra life. I don't think we can shoot through this area. Right. Y'all, I like the old graphics too. <laughs> like, it really takes me back on how silly all this had been. And then, of course, when you drop a pass through a particular uh, card, then it changes. So y'all, the treasure, unfortunately, it's like, I, I hate that it popped out there and we had that little uh, glitch. Because that treasure right there is what like boosts up our health. And of course, it's like, well, we can't just like get it out of nowhere. It is cool, Wusa, yeah. Wusa, there was another Disney remaster recently that did the, the exact same thing. I think it was the Aladdin game. I think it was Aladdin and uh, The Lion King. And Lita was very excited about playing uh, those two because she had played those as a kid. And apparently, it is still as difficult as when she was a kid. Bah, Wusa. All right. They are, Matt, and when she was playing, she was replaying, oh, she's playing the remaster, and there is this scene where she's like, I remember this being difficult as a kid. Oh, look, it's still difficult. <laughs> no. 
Matt, there was definitely a... All right, how are we gonna do this one? All right. Did we get it? <sighs> nope. We're just gonna attempt, we're just not gonna attempt to get that one. I don't know. There must be I can't remember what the button combo was to to try to get that. Because the moment you touch the rails, it, it could just end up killing you. And so it just has to be like that right timing. But no, I don't see a. Oh, we got it. What I did to get it, we'll never know, but we got it. I'm going to save it there because who knows what's going to come of it. Guys, a couple more follows. Cyber Dog is not well. tethered by earthly limitations. What does that mean? Come. A couple more follows, folks. We followed the lovely lady we raided last night, Queen Alicia Martin. DJ Extraordinaire. Go drop for a follow right meow if you have not already. Alright. Go this way. Xanatos. <laughs> Look at those old graphics. Oh, y'all, this boss battle I remember was so dopey. There's some, like, silly trick to doing this. Or it ends up making no sense whatsoever. in the very first level that yeah that we were playing where if you time your position right you'll never have to hit anyone or they'll, they'll never be able to hit you Also, the old days for the folks coming on in when there was no plot lines in these games. And if you have, if you don't know who Xanatos is from the TV show or the Red Gargoyle, you're like, I have no idea what this is about. Path to the Eye of Odin leads Goliath to the birthplace of lethal robots. That city. The city. Level 5, The Forge. <laughs> we, we beat Xanatos in like two seconds. Oi. Definitely a different vibe than I remember. Yeah, there's the forge. The silly looking level as well. Yeah, the fire falling.
I know, right? Kai's finish was way harder than Xanatos. more shout outs folks do have our friend it's jimmy b 93 on the path to 1000 followers here on twitch go drop him a follow as well He's the leader of the concert hall musical genius is stored in there also silly willy sometimes but he's trying to get to 1000 followers there. oh my god don't get in there that he gets in that grinder and the control shake is probably not a One second, y'all. thought out a little bit more.
find out we're in the in the we're in the wrong area. around his pants. Go follow our friend at Trey. A lot of Kaizo Mario. I feel like this would be something of the battle as well. Oh man, I forgot the old graphics with the uh the the molten part coming down in the background. See, it looks pretty decent still for like a game from 94. Save spot, good save spot. I know, am I paranoid? Yes, but it's fine. Before we continue, y'all, uh, another, another go person to go check out, another friendo. Do have we have an absurd number of friendos y'all can check out? But maybe today, let's give a shout out. Who should it be next? Um, we do have let's check out and shout out Kyle from a date night in. It was her birthday yesterday. Follow our friend.
overlay is not your friend. There we go. All right. Direct it. Okay, cool. That makes it world easier. Go, treasure, treasure, hell. No, go back to the way. Go this way. No idea where this is. Oh, you could not, Matt. I, yeah, actually, I, I don't think you could. I think it was one of those one-sit playthroughs, similar to like Sonic and the other old Sega games, where the only way that you could quote save or pause is if you just left the system on overnight. I remember doing that with the the game Vector Man. supposed to happen here. Like, there must be some goal. Like, it can't just be all down here with the, the various little fire things. That's fair. Yeah, you're right. There is no, there was no rewinding in the original. I think that that was their answer to try to to, to fix some of the the mechanics of making it like a little bit more fluid in terms of the controls, it's just to have that rewind ability. Backseating is allowed, y'all can tell me what I'm missing here. Maybe that's not at all where we're supposed to go. Maybe that's just what that's the magnet pull of it. 
actually going down? Where are we supposed to go here? No, 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 not making it leaf, Whiskid. Whiskid, I need answers. Stuck in this last area of Wizkid, I'm like, I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. some kind of four. Whether or not it is, it's very questionable. Alright, y'all, I give up. I need to see what we actually need to do here. I have no idea. I'm gonna YouTube it. I don't think so, Matt. That usually is just an unlimited uh, enemies coming out. Let's see, gargoyles, the forge. Okay, we beat that part. show y'all where I'm uh, where I'm looking. It almost looks like we're just not even in the right area. So we did this, I think. Yeah, we definitely did this part because it's like the little like buckets of lava. Go along on the lava buckets. That's Gucci. Jump off the lava buckets. You're riding up the lava bucket. Yeah, we beat this area. We jumped up. Yeah, walked along. See, it does this weird skip, Matt. It, like... video that's where we are this is the location that we're we are then I press play and it just like jumps forward 
I'm like, uh, well? Yeah, someone cheated. You can't win. <laughs> exactly. There's, there's no winning. Let's see. Level one. That's going the way we did. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, WizKid, so it's, it was like taking us all over in this little platform. Let's see. Gets all the items. Jumps on that platform. Yep. Go along upward. That's where we're up there. Bad guys, bad guys. Come on. Are you kidding? Basically what I've been trying to do the whole time. Is just he actually stuck the landing. Alright. did do it better than we did. Be better, <laughs> exactly. Matt, I'm trying. Once we get to that platform, we're gonna go ahead. That's probably what will, will be a good pause point for us tonight. And with that pause point, we'll shift gears and start up on my cross. All right, platform, platform. Look at that. Perfect place to save as well. Perfect save spot. Alright, chat. I think... No, we can continue a little bit more. This is it.
Hi, Finite. Finite, this is a community redemption for us to do a playthrough of the new Gargoyles remastered game. Guys, we're not checking out Finite Singularity. Finite Singularity, extremely handsome, extremely kind. He is my Hungarian brother from another mother. Web dev extraordinaire, OBS developer, legendary gentleman. We adore beyond all reason. He's the one who created the magnifying lens for the microscope. Finite, how the heck are you doing? That was a very accidental landing. I did not know there was something there. You're Hungarian too, what should you eat? That's a great question. That's good. Probably some greasy turkey served in a bowl of china. If I had to guess. Maybe with a side of chili. Or finites, like I've heard all this before. Oh, there we go. Woo. Oh, no, 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 don't fall. I think it was Zacharias Jansen invented the magpie. No, I don't. I don't think that's true. Finite. I think it was a gentleman by the name of Finite Singularity, who has a child by the name of Mini Singularity. And there's only so many singularities that fit into that role, and that is the user. Where's my drink? What? Travel. Thank you for the hydrate. Exactly fine. I, the lore was that you created this. Extra life. But yeah, fine. You can switch between the old graphics and the new graphics. Whoa! Come on. Alright, cool. 